Big news. Big, big news. Haskell retiring. Could see it coming. He slowed down a bit this year, hasn't he? Uh, went to Northampton. Uh, tried to give it one last crack of England getting into the World Cup. I should say I am a massive James Haskell fan. I've known Hass since we were 18. Well, I was 18. And I was English back then. That's when I knew we were in the academy together. I'll tell you what. There's some characters in the game. Basically, all the lads are saying at Rugby Pass that I'm a shit version of James Haskell, effectively. So he does everything that I do, but he does it significantly better. Can't argue, really. Can I? Social media. I think my wife's better looking than hers. I should say that, shouldn't I? But, yeah, it's time for him to hang up his boots. He's got loads going on, though. And I spoke to him last year, actually. Uh, did an article for Rugby Pass with him and said, what does, what's the James Haskell dream? What do you want to do? He's got cooking books. He's a social media king. Uh, he's got his own gym. Um, what else? He said to me, I want to be a DJ. That's what he said, and I laughed, actually, when, I said, when he said it. But I'm looking now. He's at all these uni gigs. He's at these rugby's at the London Sevens. He's DJing. And there was a part of me at first, I was like, Hask, what are you doing? He's throwing out his finger. He's dancing. But to be fair, he's bloody good. Everything that he does, he's tried everything. He gets a lot of stick off the lads. I tell you what, he's built a social media empire. He's put himself into the stratosphere of A, B, C, D, C list celebrities, I should say. So C, that's all right, about right. Decent list. Yeah, I see myself as maybe a D or an E, e list. He's a C, so he'll do well. Celebrity Jungle, what do you reckon? He's going to pop up on there. Ah, uh, him and his wife Chloe. Imagine them both in there at the same time. That's what's going to happen. I don't. I don't think he's going to go in the Big Brother route. He's going to go down that. Could see him on the SES program, like Fodes. But yeah, big shout out to Haskell. Massive fan of his. He's going to do incredibly well after seventy odd caps for for England, and he is going to be missed on the rugby field. But I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more of him on social media. So James Haskell, big shout out to you, my man, and uh, we will see you on the other side. What's it like to retire? Uh, I found it quite easy. Um, I wanted to retire. My body was gone. Probably similar, similar to Hask. You, you, you see the pain that he spoke about that he's been in, not being able to train at that level. Yeah, for me, it got to a stage where I couldn't wait to finish. It's very different, obviously, uh, in terms of the transition that people speak about. Uh, what I find hard is, is the admin and not being regimented actually got bored of driving to training, turning left, putting my bag in a certain place, going for breakfast. The monotonous routine I, I actually didn't enjoy. But I actually miss that now. That's the, probably the bit that I miss. And the camaraderie and the boys and stuff like that. But I've got a pretty cool job now. I just talk about rugby and abuse people. So it's pretty easy. But yeah, retirement's different. And it's weird because you talk about retirement. I was 34. I ain't retiring. Just moving, moving into a new field into a new life. Transition, that's the word, it sounds so weird. But yeah, so I'm in transition and so is James Haskell. So a big shout out to him.